Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 1200 bucks. Now let me say this. This is the Supreme Android tablet. Now I know somebody's gonna ask me, which one do I like better? This or the iPad Pro or the OnePlus or the Xiaomi or the Lenovo. This is the best tablet on the planet. Period. Samsung Knights, stand up and rejoice. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White I shoes. Love my white... Calm down. Okay, here we go. Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. Twelve hundred bucks. Here's the presentation. Nice clean white box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Let's see what you get inside. Now this is gonna be your tablet. Okay, let's go ahead and peel this off. Okay, this is the big boy right here. Let's see what else you get. Okay, the Bluetooth S Pen. Samsung, this was supposed to be in the box for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Okay, I don't know why they need, why they had to make us buy another S Pen. It should have been right in the box. This is how you do it. S Pen, let's see what else you get. Now this is gonna be your charging cable, okay? USB C to uh, USB Type C, USB Type C shoes. Inspect that for quality. Here's just some ejection tool because this does have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory, and that's pretty much it for the presentation. Now for the tablet itself, look how thin and lightweight this is. 14.6 inches. Now I want to show you something. All right, shoes. I, when I said check that for <laughs> for, for quality, I didn't mean go crazy. Let me show you something. Here's uh, let's pull out some other tablets real quick. This is the Galaxy Tab S8. All right, the S8 Plus. Look at the difference in the size. Okay, here's the S8 Plus. Look at all that extra screen real estate. Okay, this is a big boy. Let's pull out something else. Let's get an uh, iPad Pro. Here's the iPad Pro. Okay, way bigger. And now, the Apple Pencil. Now, y'all know, Apple Mafia. I need y'all to stand down and stand by. I love the iPad, I love the Apple Pencil, but it just can't compete with the Bluetooth S Pen. You see, when you're writing on your iPad with this Apple Pencil, it kind of feels like an ice pick chopping on ice. <laughs> it has that hard feeling. When you're using the Bluetooth S Pen on the Galaxy, it's soft. Did y'all hear that? It's soft, like a warm knife cutting through butter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's see, one more. Now, I know somebody's gonna also ask me, if you got the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, should you upgrade to the S9 Ultra? And the answer is no, okay? First of all, they're pretty much the same, and let me prove it. Let's take it over to the specs. All right, so if we're doing a quick spec comparison, here's the S9 Ultra, S8 Ultra. Okay, both of these, let's see. Now, the only difference that you're gonna notice, the S9 Ultra is IP68 dust and water resistant. Now, that's kind of important. If you like to use your tablet at the beach or maybe at the pool or you got a lot of kids that's always spilling stuff, you know, you like to let your kids hold your tablet and they're always spilling the Kool-Aid all over it, then ingress protection might be worth it for you to protect your investment. But for me, I've never been in a situation where my tablet got wet. I pretty much use this in the bed, in the office, or when I'm flying, so I don't need that. So I would recommend if you want a big boy tablet, go with the S8 Ultra if you want to save some money. If you already got the S8 Ultra, do not upgrade. Okay, don't do it to yourself. Let's see, both of these, Bluetooth S Pen. Let's, let's go through the specs real quick. Okay, uh, dynamic AMOLED panels, 14.6 inches, both of them. Okay, Gorilla Glass 5. Let's see, now with the new one, you're getting the Snapdragon 8 Generation 2 versus the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1. Now, for a tablet, that's pretty much the same performance. As far as storage, basically the same. Okay, you can get all the way up to one terabyte on each of these. Both of these have expandable memory. Cameras, okay, 12, 12 and 12, 12 and 12. <laughs> okay, basically the same camera. Let's see, uh, the front camera. Yeah, okay, 12 and 12 on the front. The main camera on the new one, 13 and eight versus 13 and six. So a slight bump in the camera, but you're not gonna really be at the wedding with a big ass Galaxy Tab S8 or S9 Ultra taking photos. Don't do it to yourself. Let's see, battery is exactly the same. Okay, both of these have um, 11,000. Uh, 11,200 milliamp batteries, 45 watt fast charge. 
The new one comes in beige and uh, graphite. The old one just comes in graphite. So again, now when I say basically the same, that doesn't mean exactly the same, but these are basically the same tablets. Now, this is not an upgrade. This is more like an update. If you got the S9 Ultra, you're good to go. All right, so let me grab some accessories real quick and then we'll run through this tablet. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so the first accessory we got is the book cover keyboard. Now this one is gonna run you 350 bucks. I know, okay, I know that price is crazy, but this will actually turn your tablet into a laptop. Let's get and unbox it. Okay, now one quick side note. If you wanna save some money, if you can find one of these for the Tab S8 Ultra, it actually fits on the S9 Ultra. Okay, here we go. Now, this is one of my favorite accessories. Okay, oh, look at this. Now, this one is clear for your S Pen camera cutouts. Okay, now this one does have actual lights on the keyboard, on the actual keys. Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and slap this on. Okay, just like that. And then for the back, this one just magnetized just like that, okay? And there it is. Now this should have a little flap right here that opens up, so you can use it as a stand. And then when you unlock this, okay, there's your trackpad. Let's click on the nap, let's go to Facebook. Okay, there's Facebook. Now real quick, I wanna dim the lights so you can see the keyboard. All right, so I'm sitting down here in complete darkness and I got the tablet display on minimum brightness. Now, if I move the keyboard, you see the keys do light up. Now, this is minimum brightness, second level, and the third level. So you got three levels of brightness. And one of the things that I love about this, you don't have to charge it up. It uses power directly from the tablet, okay? Now, watch this. Now, if I make the display brighter, this is perfect for working at nighttime in the bed. You can clearly see all of the keys. Now this is a fully functional keyboard, big trackpad, super responsive. Let's, let's open up messages, just like that. I can escape. You got all your hotkeys. We could do screen brightness. You got volume, you can set up apps. You got your finder. This is a go. This will turn this tablet into a fully functional laptop. All right, so one quick side note. Now here's my keyboard cover for the S8 Ultra. When you click it on, it's gonna say this keyboard isn't designed for this tablet, but guess what? Everything works, okay? Everything works exactly the same. I guess Samsung just wants you to buy the new one, but you don't have to. Let's try it. display brightness. Everything works, okay? Let's do one more, the finder. I already tried everything. Save some money. If you could find the S8 Ultra keyboard for a little bit cheaper, do that. It definitely works. All right, next up, we got a clutch accessory for me. Samsung actually came out with a privacy screen. Now this one is gonna run you 70 bucks. Okay, let's get in this stall and see how it looks. I got a funny story to tell y'all too, <laughs> why I bought this. Okay, so let's see how we slap this on. Okay, it does have the magnets on the bottom. Okay, so we're just gonna click this on the bottom and drop it just like that. Okay, so it clicks on the bottom, slaps on like that. Now let's try something. Let's go to Facebook, let's hit that angle Oh, look at, look at that. Right, you, see the, you see the privacy? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Now, let me tell you my funny story. I like to use tablets when I fly, right? So here's what I like to do. Let's, um, oh, now let's see. Let's check the screen responsivity -ness. Okay, it looks good. Let's exit out of this. Hold up. All right, so I notice. Yeah, okay, so the swipe up looks like it's a little bit the swipe up, let's try that. Let's go to Instagram. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this might, I don't know, this might not be that great. Okay, now, okay, the swipes work. All right, here's my funny story. <laughs> All right, so when I like to fly, I like to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi on the plane. Now the plane, that, <laughs> okay, family show. The airplane's Wi-Fi, <laughs> let me say that again, Wi-Fi. The airplane's Wi-Fi is not that great, but when you connect on JetBlue, you will be able to use Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you know, social media apps. Even some YouTube videos will actually work. Let's see, now if I if I'm turn sideways, okay, yeah, look at this. You could barely see. So this is pretty good for me now when, when I'm sitting on the flight and I'm scrolling through Instagram and y'all know how my Instagram is Okay, when something like this pops up 
the person next to me is always looking at me like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> so now let's see. All right, so it, it might be hard to see on camera, but the privacy screen actually works. So now when I'm sitting down enjoying my content, <laughs> I can enjoy it in peace. Now, the only thing I will say, you're gonna lose some touch responsivityness because I notice I can't swipe back. I can't swipe up. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, okay, well, yeah, this is out. Of, for 70 bucks, as long as the scroll works for me, and I just, you're not gonna really be typing too much, but I'm noticing I'm not getting any swipes. Yeah, I can't even swipe down. I don't know, 70 bucks, it might be a little bit pricey, but if you need your privacy, <laughs> okay, if you need your privacy, if you wanna enjoy your family show moments in peace, look at that. Now, let me, let me, let's do this one more time. Let's, all right, let's, um, all right, close it up. Okay, let's um get a fresh refresh. Let's see if we can find a little family show moment. Matter of fact, let me connect to a better Wi-Fi. All right, my bad. I was still on my upstairs Wi-Fi. All right, so now if we scroll through Instagram, let's see if we can find anything. Okay, so say right now I want to watch my content. Look at that. It's hard to see on camera, but from this angle, you could barely see anything. All right, so this is going to be a clutch feature for me. The only thing is... The swipes is good, but it's not that responsive, okay? It's pretty thick, giggity, but it's privacy. <laughs> privacy nonetheless. 70 bucks, let's keep it moving. Now the last accessory I got is a little tablet stand from Spigen. Now this one is gonna run you 13 bucks. This is perfect to have your tablet on your desk, okay? This is real simple. Let's just unfold this. Okay, and there it is. So you grab your tablet, let me get the right angle, just like that, and drop your tablet on, bang, just like that. <laughs> now this tablet right here is a little bit heavy, but it will work. Oh, okay, maybe not, let me see. Okay, yeah, this tablet, will, <laughs> it's a little bit heavy, but it will work. There it is, just gotta get the right angle. Okay, so now if you wanna watch a video, let's go to YouTube, see what's going down. Oh, we got the uh, Mortal Kombat. Okay, hit the volume. And here's how it's gonna look. Now let me just raise up a little bit, bang. Nice little tablet stand right here, 13 bucks. Watch the videos like this. Then when you're done, pop this off. This also works for all of your phones. Okay, Nintendo Switch, whatever you got, even your Galaxy, your fold, bang, unfold it just like that. 13 bucks, and then it actually does fold up, throw it in your bag. All right, so this is a go. Now, I was concerned if it was gonna hold up this big tablet, but it actually does. You just gotta get the right angle, and there it is. Now, I gotta come back and watch this Mortal Kombat video in a few minutes. All right, let's keep it moving. Now, before I show y'all all of the features, let me give you my overall opinion about this tablet. I would say this is the best tablet on the market. Better than the iPad, better than everything else. If you're looking for a big tablet, this is it right here. The easiest way to explain this tablet, this is a big Galaxy S23 Ultra 5 Gangsta Alpha Omega Supreme, AKA Galactus 2.0, minus the cameras. Everything about this tablet, I absolutely love, except for one thing. I just wish it would have had an always on display. Now out of all of the tablets that I reviewed, only Lenovo has an always on display. That's the only one. I like to have my tablet on a little dock like this. I would love to see just a little always on display. Doesn't have to be anything fancy like this. Okay, but just a little, a little clock. Other than that, the battery, the display, the processor, the speakers, the build quality. This is an absolute beast. The Bluetooth S Pen. That's why I like it better than the iPad Pro, the Bluetooth S Pen. Okay, build quality. First of all, look how thin this is. Thin and lightweight. Now I know some people ask, why would you even buy a tablet? All right, what's the sense of buying the tablet? Here's the sense. A lot of people don't wanna carry this. Now this is my Samsung Galaxy laptop. It's twice as heavy. And if you're on an airplane and you're flying a long flight, you don't wanna have this on your lap. You don't wanna have the tray table folded down. This is a big device, okay? Sometimes you're not using the keyboard. You always gotta have this, okay? 
The tablet is kind of like in between a phone and a laptop. Now, the only thing I don't do on this tablet is edit big videos. Other than that, this handles everything. Social media, shopping, work, get the keyboard cover, type all your notes, Bluetooth S Pen, WAP your videos. I'll show you how to do that. This is an absolute beast, okay? I love everything about it. First, like I was saying about the build quality, now this one is IP68 dust and water resistant, so now I can feel comfortable taking it to the beach. It does have expandable memory, so I could drop 30 episodes of Family Guy on it, take it right to the beach, no Wi-Fi necessary, and watch all my videos. If it gets wet, if it gets sand, I'm good to go. But personally, I don't really do that, but if you're into that kind of thing, that's why you wanna get the S9 over the S8. On one side, you got your power button, volume up and down, okay? You got quad speakers, okay? Four dope speakers, and they sound amazing. There's your USB Type-C charging slot, okay? Two more speakers, and then your pins right here for all your accessories, okay? Nice and clean. And there's your SIM tray, expandable memory. Hit the power button. You do have face unlock. Let me try to do that from behind the camera. Okay, let's hit that face unlock. Okay, now I'm, it's not gonna reach from behind the camera. Face unlock is not, okay, there it is. Y'all seen it? I'm gonna do it again. No fingerprint. There's the face unlock. And you do got a fingerprint. On-screen fingerprint sensor. Look how big this is though. I mean, look, I'm old school. I used to watch Star Trek as a kid. Y'all remember back in the days, this is the kind of stuff that we dreamed of. Okay, now, this stuff like this kind of blows me away even to this day, even though I have all of these tablets. I love just walking around with a, like basically a TV. This is like a little TV that you can carry around in your hands. Now, when I was a little kid, I think I had a 19 inch TV in my bedroom. This is a 14 inch display, okay, that you could just walk around with. Build quality is excellent. Next, you swipe over, here's your Google homepage. Okay, all of that stuff. Swipe back down, the Samsung ecosystem. You got everything. You can link this to your computer. You got nearby share. You got smart view. Okay, you got quick share. Secure folders, all right, for your thought protection. You got your daily board. Everything on deck. I'm not gonna go through all of the settings. I think we already seen those. All right, so now let me show you some features. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay, Snapdragon 8, generation two, super fast, 120 hertz refresh rate, excellent scrolling speeds, and look how big this is. I love it. Now this is also a multitasking beast. Let's go to Facebook at the same time. Okay, so we could do split screen multitasking, swap them back and forth, and let's do uh, Chrome on the bottom. So you can have three apps open at the same time. Let's go to ESPN, and there it is. Now if I want to, I can make this a straight up group. Okay, we'll pin this to the apps panel. It's right on the side. We can swap these around. Look at that. Three apps at the same time. This is beast. Now, of course, if you open up Facebook, okay, you can uh, have a pop-up view, <laughs> okay? So we got the pop-up view. So Facebook and the pop. And then if we want to, we can minimize that. Let's open up Chrome, pop up view, minimize this, just like on your phone, and then at any moment, open up your Facebook, open up your Chrome. Multitasking on this is a beast. Now, one of the best things about this tablet is it blends with the Samsung ecosystem. So if you got a Samsung phone, you can use Quick Share or Nearby Share. So let me show you how that works. So say I wanna send this video right to my tablet, we're gonna hit share. I'm gonna use nearby share. Okay, tablet just popped up. Transfer this file right over. Okay, you see a video's coming in. Then I hit open. And there it is. That's pretty dope. Now if I exit out of that, say I wanna send a photo. Let me find a little photo real quick. Okay. Now I want to send this picture right here to my tablet. So we hit share. You see, Flossie's tablet. Connecting. Okay. Open it up. Bang. Just like that. I love the Samsung ecosystem.
Okay, one quick side note, you can also do it in reverse. So let's say I wanna send this picture from my tablet to my Galaxy phone. Let's go ahead and hit share. Okay, so we do Flossie's iPhone. Okay, we hit waiting. Okay, there's the quick share coming in. Bang, there's the photo. Now we can also do nearby share. Okay, so we do nearby share. Looking for devices. Okay, my phone and my Pixel tablet came up. And there it is. This is pretty dope. All right, now here's another dope feature. You can make phone calls and text messages from your tablet as long as it's paired up to your phone. So you see I connected it right there. So we'll go to phone. Let's have uh, 718. Let's do 849-6673. Uh, this is a 24-hour diner. You see, it's using my Galaxy to make the phone call. Okay, let's go. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi. What time you guys close? 24 hours. 24 hours? Yep, we never close. Okay, great. I appreciate it. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. That's dope. <laughs> That's really dope. And if you're getting a phone call, it's going to ring on the tablet. Let me show you how that works. All right, check this out. Now, I'm going to call this Galaxy phone, but since the phone is paired up to the tablet, watch what happens. I'm receiving a call on my phone and my tablet. So if the phone is in my pocket, I can answer from right here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, call me back. Call me back. All right, bye. All right, bye. Bang. Now, if I want to, I can send a text message. Okay. I'm busy. Okay, hit send. Bang, popped up on the phone. This is so dope. Now, here's another feature that I love, second screen. I can pair up my tablet to my laptop and now have dual displays. So let's take it over to the internet. Let's go to YouTube. So I say I wanna watch some videos or I wanna do some gaming. Okay, just like that and rock out. How dope is that? Second screen. Again, perfect for gaming, perfect for you and somebody else watching a video together. Okay, one quick side note with the second screen. If you change your lid display settings on your laptop, watch this. I can close up the laptop and now just use my tablet as the laptop display. So now I'm getting all of the power from my laptop with the display from my tablet. Incredible. All right, so now let's take a look at this big, beautiful 14.6 inch AMOLED display. Now this is one of my favorite new videos. I right, shout out to Amaya. She made a little vlog of us going to dinner. But look at this display. Excellent viewing angles. Okay. Basically bezel-less. You could go all the way zoom in if you want. Look at that. This is like a portable TV. But not only is it a portable TV, look how thin it is. Okay, so this is how you want to watch your videos. Again, full screen. This is so epic. Okay, so this is the best part about this tablet, the display. And chances are, this is what you're gonna be doing the most, watching videos, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Amazon Prime. Everything is gonna look amazing. I love the AMOLED panels. Oh, one quick side note. If y'all wanna see this full video, I'll leave a link for it right there. I just got, you notice I just paused. I got a little emotional right now because I gotta miss Amaya. It is what it is, man. That's the life of a dad. Let's keep it moving. Now, of course, we got to test out the quad stereo speakers. I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rebier. Here we go. Yo, sound test. Time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? Goddammit, hell. Quad speakers. 
extra loud, extra bass. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. The speakers on this tablet are gonna blow you away. You're gonna love it. Now let's do a little gaming. Of course, I got Asphalt 9 queued up, but I wanna show y'all another dope way to game with this tablet. First, let's try Asphalt 9. This is amazing on this big display. This makes me actually wanna play this game. Woo! <laughs> I rap, I rap, I'm trash. Okay, let me get a little boost. Okay, I, I, I need that ramp, I need that ramp. All right, there it is. Okay, dip to the side, let's go. Look at this. Oh, did I, did I get it? What I get, what I did? Right, I came in second, I came in second. All right, hold up, this is super loud. Okay, as you see for yourself, you're gonna have a lot of fun gaming with this, but let me show you a better way to game. Watch this. All right, so here's when second screen comes into play again. Say I wanna do some hardcore gaming from my laptop, I can use my tablet as a display. So if I wanna play Killer Instinct from my laptop, I can use this display. So real gaming on the tablet. Look at that. This is sick. So I could be gaming on my computer and using this monitor. And you see there's no lag delay at all. Let's go. Got him, hold up. Might as well watch this, why not? Cause I look like I was doing my thing that day, hold up. Hold up, let's see, let's see. Oh, am I getting wrecked? Hold up, am I getting wrecked? Not likely, not likely. Oh, I'm getting wrecked, I'm getting wrecked. I'm Glacius, by the way. Ooh, hold that. Ooh, big heavy. Got him. Oh, let's go. He's out of here. Hmm, let's go. Anyway, gaming, amazing. All right, so now, of course, we gotta talk about the Bluetooth S Pen. Now, one of the reasons I recommend buying this case is you'll never lose your S Pen because it has that little flap on the back. And one of the new things about the Galaxy Tab S9, you could charge the S Pen either direction. Only takes a few minutes to charge up to 100 and then you're good to go. So you got your air actions and you got all your quick panels. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, create a note. Okay, let's get, get full screen. Okay, we'll do the usual. Call Mike. I'm not gonna make any NFTs today. We could change the colors. Okay, you could bring up a keyboard. Actually type. You could change the colors. See, I'm changing it to red now. <laughs> That's pretty dope. You can erase. I mean, you've seen one S Pen, you've seen them all. You've seen all these plenty of features on deck. Let's exit out of that. Okay, so uh, let's go to Smart Select. Matter of fact, I'll exit out of this. So we'll do a Smart Select. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and uh, save that one. All right, so say we go to Instagram, right? And we see a little photo like this. We can do our smart select. Bang, and go ahead and share that, save it, go crazy. Okay, now of course if I wanna make some gifts, let's see. We'll do, well, let's see, matter of fact, I'll do it. Oh, I just swiped, swiped over, go back to Instagram. Okay, now I use my quick quick panels, animation. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this up a little bit. And I hit record. If I wanna catch this joyous occasion right here and send it to somebody, you get 15 seconds, hit stop. Okay, now I can just pin that, exit out of everything. Now if I want to, I could go ahead and share this, minimize it. 
or save it. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so of course you got your, um, your, your you can pin, insert, animation. Y'all seen this already. Do I even have to keep going through this? Rectangles. Like I said, I just did this with the Galaxy, with the uh, Z Fold, save all that stuff. I think y'all know how to use these already. We got the um, videos, alarms, photos, world clock, stopwatch. Okay, got the weather. These are my quick panels. Okay, got a little compass, reminders, okay, clipboards, and a bunch of apps. Now, remember earlier, I was doing the multitasking, press one button, that'll take me to Facebook, uh, Google, and um, <laughs> ESPN at the same time. Okay, swap them around, go crazy. Again, this, this, this pen just feels so much better than the Apple Pencil. Exit out of that. Okay, now, of course, we could do live. I'm not going to waste your time doing a live translate. I think I already showed you how to do that. You see you got your battery percentage for your S Pen. Do some live messages, okay, while using the app. Why not? Why not? Okay, so we'll do pick a nice black background. Start drawing. Hey, baby, you know, I'll be trying to be romantic. Okay, let's get a little... Smiley face. Okay, hit done. Okay, <laughs> look at that. Get a nice little animation like that. Send it right over to my girl, you know what I'm saying? This is pretty dope. Exit out of that. Okay, so that's the live messages. Let's see anything else we need to see. Of course, you got pen up. You got screen right. Just say, I want to show somebody. This is the app you need. Bong, save that or share it. Okay. I can take it to Chrome and you can edit these panels if you want. Now, one of the best things about the Bluetooth S Pen, and this is when I use it the most. Let me exit out of this. Let's go, let's go home. Why not? Let's go to your videos, right? All right, so say I'm watching the video, right? Unlocked version. Say I'm watching the video. We're gonna hit the button right here. Wop. This is what I call WAP. This is the Bluetooth S Pen. You see, I press the button, I go like that. It takes me to the next video. I want to go back, take me to a previous video. Wop, wop. Now, this is so clutch because a lot of times I'll have my tablet connected to a Bluetooth speaker. So say I'm watching YouTube videos for music. I'm watching a lot of rap videos, R&B videos, whatever kind of music videos I want. And I'm sitting across the room. Now, I don't have to be all up close like this. Look how far back I am. All I got to do is wave the pen in the air and go like this. Remember, it's Bluetooth. So I ain't gotta be sitting close. Look how, look, I'm all the way back here now, wop, wop. That's here, I've been watching a lot of court cases, wop. And then if I want to, wop it back. If I hold up, you see I get the volume going up. Okay, play and pause. Press one button, unpause it. Volume down. Okay, you see the arrow going down and then volume back up. Right. There's a volume up. Reservation for those rights, especially the all rights. Pause. Play. This is all dope. Wop. I already seen this one. I already seen this video. Hold up. Wop. Let me get to the next one. Hit play. This is a remote control. Wop. You know what I'm saying? I already, oh, I already seen this video. Let's keep it moving. Wop. Somebody start talking to me. Boom. So what I usually like to do is I have the pen in my ear. All right, so when I'm chilling in my couch and I'm having a fine glass of cognac, I got the S Pen in my, in my ear, playing my music with some big JBL party speakers, and I hit play. I do the same thing. I do the same thing with the Galaxy phone, all right, with my S23 Ultra, the Bluetooth S Pen. Wop. I call that the WAP. okay? This is so epic. Now, of course, if you're taking a photo, I can use this to snatch photos and videos. Bop. So if I got this set up for scumbag activities, I could be out the room, just leave this on right here, press the button, take photos. Now you can also use this to unlock and lock your tablet. I don't know, did I set mine up? You see, I, you see, I just pressed the button. Now if I was closer, I could just look at it. But you could set this to unlock your tablet. Press one button and unlock the tablet. But I don't like to accidentally <laughs> press the button, unlock my tablet. But this is so epic. And then when you finish using your S Pen, all you gotta do, slap it on the back. And again, make sure you get something to protect it because you don't wanna lose that expensive Bluetooth S Pen. Let's keep it moving. All right, so one quick side note. If you like drawing, you're gonna love this. Go to Pen Up, 
okay? Now, this is a great way to kill some time. Find a little uh, template. We'll do this one right here. Let's do, let's do the boat, and we start coloring. All right, so let's see for the water. We'll do the water blue. Now, like I said, I'm just doing this real quick. You can change the size. Change the colors. Okay, matter of fact, let's get back to blue. Okay, get some blue water. Red, we'll do the sales red. <laughs> now, I'm just doing this real quick. All right, let's, let's do, let's do a pencil, yellow, if you want to do like, you know, smaller stuff. So, we'll do the boat yellow. Okay, now, this is about to be a priceless NFT. Anybody want to buy this one? Let's do um, brown right here. Okay, color this in brown. Now, like I said, you sitting in the DMV somewhere, you got your tablet out. This will kill a lot of time. Okay, let's get back blue. Okay, get some water. <laughs> yeah, hold on, let's go brown. Brown for the mountains, you know. And have a little fun. All right, anybody want to buy this NFT from me, let me know. Let's see, for the sky, we'll do... Add a little color in the sky, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, uh, yellow little highlights right here to match the boat. And there it is. Again, this is just a great app to kill time. <laughs> exit out of the, exit. I got to save that if y'all want to buy that one later. And um, we got a whole bunch of different templates. It's just a lot of fun. Pen up. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now, this is not going to be the top of the line Galaxy cameras, but the camera's actually pretty good. And I would say it would give some mid-range cameras a run for their money. Cameras on the tablet, not too important, especially in a big tablet like this, but kind of important. You might be sitting around at the airport, sitting around at the beach, okay, sitting around at the park, and you're watching some videos, and something is popping off, and you don't have time to go in your pocket and get your phone. Maybe your phone is in the car. All you got to do, hit the camera, and you got a real camera. Okay, so you do got some different shooting modes. You got portrait. You got photos, which actually have wide angle. Okay, all the way up to eight times zoom. You got video. You can shoot 4K at 30 frames per second from the front and on the back. And you got more. So you got pro mode, pro video, single take, night mode, food, panorama, hyperlapse, and my favorite, portrait video. Okay, get that bokeh effect. Now, take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 1200 bucks on the tablet. Let's see how it works in the real world. Okay, so it's a Sunday afternoon. You just woke up, you got the day off. Why go in your pocket and pull out a little phone when you got a big tablet? So let's lay in the bed. The first thing I do, turn this on. Now you got face unlock and you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Now we got a little TV basically in the bed. So I like to take my S Pen out, have it handy. Like I said, I like to leave it in the side of my ear, okay? But let's just go ahead and scroll over. So let's take it over to Google. Okay, let's see, a tech YouTuber may have just settled the greatest foldable phone debate of 2023. A word, I didn't know I settled that debate, but hey, it is what it is. Now let's see, you got the Continental Trailer. DJI got some new mics coming out. Okay, the Lenovo Tab. Like I said, the Lenovo Tab, uh, like I said, the Lenovo tab is the only tab I got that has an always on display. All right, Samsung, y'all need to catch up. Oh, we got a new South Park, <laughs> South Park, a South Park snow day trailer. I'll watch that later. Okay, we got the Blue Beetle. All right, let's see. Um, what's this? Waka Flocka challenged by uh, Street Fighter Pro Punk to a 5K money match. Waka, you do not want with Punk. Trust me, you do not want any smoke with Punk in Street Fighter. Trust me on that one. All right, so we got some new Mortal Kombat gameplay, Reptile. Okay, Ana Magic 6 already? Yo, these phones be dropping so fast, man. It's crazy. Okay, let's see. Bose Quiet Comfort. Uh, look, this, this is exactly what I do. Now, I, when I do the RDA test, I like to do no editing so you can see how your tablet is going to work in the real world. All right, so that's your Google homepage. Nothing to really see there. Exit out of that. Now, it is a Sunday, but I do have to check some emails. So let's do my little work segment. Okay, so we'll do... We'll do my updates. Let's see if I got any emails I need to read. Okay. Look at my emails. Okay. I, oh, I got to get a new EBT card. Yo, I got to get my new EBT card. <laughs> Y'all ain't know, bro. Okay, so we got JetBlue. Boom. Okay, I got some JetBlue points. I know. I'll be like, I'm saying international. Keep it moving. And if I want to now, for this part, if I do decide to do some work, I just grab my keyboard. Be like, all right, let me just go ahead and plug this in. Open this up and rock out now one thing i wanted to show you about the keyboard say i'm um, say say i do sound I, I do want to do some work so we'll scroll down we're going to turn on samsung decks now right, where's samsung decks pop on samsung decks now here's samsung decks on the tablet it's basically going to turn this into a laptop so you see now i got the laptop view okay so say i open up uh google right here it's going to be in laptop form okay so you see, I got multiple windows open. Let's go to Chrome. See, so now for my Chrome, you see I got the tabs on the top. Okay, so now this is just like using a real laptop. Okay, let's go to Gmail. Now let's see, um, da, 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 Gmail. Enter, okay. Bong just like that. Okay, now I can open up the app right here. Why not, you see? Back to my EBT cards. Okay, let me full screen. And now hit reply. All right, so now if I had to do some work, um, what's good with my new EBT card? Comma, I'm broke. Okay. And I'm typing in all capital letters because I'm actually broke. Hit send. All right, so this is Samsung Dex. You see everything is, everything is, um, in PC format like this. Okay, exit out all of that. This is pretty dope. So yeah, all your tabs, it's gonna feel like using a Galaxy laptop. You see all the stuff at the bottom. Okay, so you got my notifications. I got my music player, all my toggles, battery percentage. Okay, the calendar, all of my apps on the taskbar right at the bottom. Okay, we could go home. I could go all of my apps and keep it moving. And then at any second, okay, we can uh, exit out of Dex, hit exit, and exit out of Dex. All right, so that's my work segment of the day. Then I'll just disconnect this keyboard, <laughs> shoes just flinched, and go back to tablet mode. Okay, so now that I've finished working, let's do a little social media activity. Let's take it over to X. Okay, now you can use this in portrait or landscape mode. Okay, portrait is definitely big boy mode. But I like using things in uh, better in landscape mode. Now check this out. We could do split screen multitasking. Okay, so I could be back on Google and Twitter at the same time. Swap them around. 
resize them, okay? Or add one more. Let's do the, say I wanna get a quick app. Let's go to the Play Store. Okay, so now I can be on Google and the Play Store at the same time. I don't like this layout. Swoop it around just like that. Minimize, picture and picture. Bonga. Too many, too many choices. I too much choices to do. All right, so we'll exit this one out of here. Bang. Okay, so now let's go to mentions. Now I did drop a few videos. Okay, let's see. Love that I made the flossy card a video. Somebody, somebody made it to the video. Guess what, bro? I right, Darren the creator. You just made two videos. All right, you made two videos in the same week. Okay, let's see. Now that's a flex. Join the flex side. No question, yep. No question. Now again, I like to use my S Pen. Okay, presentation. Okay, let's see. Now you see. You don't have to touch the screen. Let's see. Okay, okay, now this one doesn't have to support that action, but you can use it on certain apps. Oh, let's see, uh, okay. What, what, what's going now? What's, what, what's Viper talking about? Let's see, it's painfully clear that me and everyone's got a brain that flows to does not understand what the verbiage quick <laughs> quick video means. <laughs> okay, look, I, when, when I say quick video, I Viper. <laughs> I right, fucking banana head viper. This is Viper's one of my favorite banana heads. All right, when I say quick video, that means that means about 45 minutes. All right, if I say quick video, that means 45 minutes. All right, it is what it is, bro. I'm sorry, I like hearing myself talk. Plus, y'all my friends. I like talking to my friends here. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. This how's your, your, your tune is gonna look. Okay, what's this now? Let's see. Okay, what they, what they talking about? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, everybody making the, the, the videos. Let's go. Yep. All right. So let's keep it moving. So that's how your Twitter is going to look. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Here Matter we go. Uh -oh. Just as I <laughs> All right. Hold on. Now we can be on TikTok. You see this is how TikTok looks in our landscape mode, but in portrait mode is full screen. This is why I'm saying you need that privacy screen because if you're on a flight, and you're watching some shit like this, the person next to you gonna be looking at you like, bro, come on, man. All right, so let's try the privacy screen again. All right, let's, let's go ahead and slap this on real quick. Privacy screen. Okay, so whoever's sitting next to me, they're not gonna see my full scumbag status. Oh, the S Pen does work through the privacy screen. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and pop this. Oh, somebody just got laid, I need to see that. Somebody just got laid, <laughs> laid and sprayed. Okay, this KO never gets old, who, who was that? Oh, that, that, that's the definition of a two-piece. All right, no biscuit. Okay, and again, switch it like this and enjoy your content. Now, when I'm when I'm flying, I like to sit it on my lap just like this. And this is one of the reasons I like tablets better than laptops, because if you got this on your lap, it's not gonna get hot. Your laptop is gonna get hot sitting on your lap and it's gonna get heavy. This is feather light. Well, not feather light, let me not OD, but this is feather light compared to a laptop, okay? Let's see, did she make that jump shot? Okay, that was a nice little shot right there. All right, okay, back to the uh, the Nate Diaz. Uh, remember when um, Nate Diaz, put, yeah, he, he hit him with the guillotine? Yeah, he, he was about to drop that guillotine on him. It would have been a wrap, yo. That's why I would love to see that rematch in the MMA community. Pretty boy Floyd, you know, you know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather. Okay, well, now what, now what fight? What is this? Yeah. Okay, all right. Right, anyway, oh, okay, let's see. We got big boy right here. Let's see, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, because we got to be careful fighting these big dudes, yo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, you know the old saying, the, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. That was a hard, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Big, we got a big boy. Oh, big, let's go, big man. <laughs> I was about to say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, but also the harder they get back up. You got to be, oh, this is a good bro right here, yo. That was a little good little bro right there, yep. Yeah. I'll pay to see that fight. Oh, look at this, yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> they so silly, man, the internet is undefeated. Imagine somebody doing this to your car window, yep. Yeah. It's at that moment, I'm going directly to jail. Now, this is what I like to see, community policing, yeah. All right. This is what we need more of, community policing, okay? Personally, I think police officers should have to work in the neighborhood that they live. This way, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you treat people differently when you gotta see them at the grocery store, you gotta see them at the movie theater. It's, it's, it's a whole different vibe, yo. A lot of small town cops, that's why there's not too much crime because they work in the same community, they know everybody. Anyway, <laughs> what am I talking about? All right, let's, let's keep it. All right, so here's, this dude, this dude right here. All right, so here's, um, <laughs> this is TikTok, exit out of that, bong. Next, 
Do we need, now? Nah, let's skip over Facebook. We'll go straight to Instagram. Now, Instagram, if you want Instagram to work, okay, in landscape mode, make sure you go to settings, right? You're gonna go over to display, and then you're gonna go over to labs. Where, where did I find it at last time? Well, just search labs. LA, okay, maybe, maybe you got, first of all, spell it right, okay. Search labs, and then you go to, okay, which one did I just figure this out the other day? Let's see, okay, click on labs. Okay, here it goes. You got full screen and split view, swipe, show multi view. Okay, landscape, right here it is, landscape for portrait apps. All right, because Instagram, at first, it does not want to work. So you're going to have to find Instagram. Okay, go to Instagram and make sure you turn it on. This way, when you hit Instagram, now you can use it like this. Because sometimes you don't want to have Instagram this big, okay? Even though certain, certain, certain uh, as you'll soon see, certain things you do want to see that big, but certain things you don't. All right, so let's see anything going down on Instagram we need to see. Nelly calls you near on plan. Okay, plunge into the sea. I don't want to see this if I'm getting ready to catch a flight. We got some new blue face drama. He's doing something stupid as usual. Okay, now, let me jump. Now, say it right now, like this moment right here. Look at the difference. I right, do you want to watch, even though, I, you know, if you're in the bed now, yeah, you might want to watch it this big, but when you're on a flight, you don't really need everybody next to you to be like, when you're doing your Calvin test, you're pinching the zoom, you don't need everybody to see that. That's why you need the privacy screen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me show. Let's keep it moving. All right, so here's how your Instagram is going to look. Let's see. Did we see anything? Okay, let's see. All right. Okay. I'm <laughs> sorry, I ain't going to say nothing about that. All right. Everybody having a nice uh, nice Friday afternoon, okay. Kobe, the Kobe new sneakers. Okay, Instagram, everybody just clowning. Let's see, Rollo speaks on, uh, okay, Young Thug, man, Young Thug. Yo, Tory Lanez, why they gave Tory Lanez 10 years, bro? Let's see, Floyd Mayweather plays dozens of families to fly safely and provide them with, you see, this is why I say Floyd Mayweather is that guy, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't really be, I don't really be um, wanting to meet too many people, but this is one guy that I do definitely, wouldn't mind going to dinner with and picking their brain. All right, let's see what's going down. Okay, we got Black Rambo. Yeah, out here doing some Black Rambo stuff. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. This is kind of crazy. Let's see. Okay, see, now, so at some point, you got to say, you know, you got to tell this. At some point, the surgeon has to be like, bro, you sure you want to do this, yeah? You sure you want to do this? I guess they trying to get paid, so it is what it is, yeah? Anyway, so here's um, this is how I'm gonna look. Okay, this this guy right here, he the karma karma be spinning that block, bro. Let's keep it moving. Okay, now watch this. Now this is what I wanted to show you also with Instagram. So now I could go to TikTok at the same time. How dope is this? Now this is how you want to be on your flight, TikTok and Instagram at the same time. This is social media overload right here. So I go to Reels. All right, so I could be watching multiple content at once. You know what I'm saying? Get all my content, and at any moment, swap it around. Or I could just save this, okay? Add it to the edge panel and keep it moving. So this way, when I exit out of this, at any moment, I go to my edge panels, and you see I got a fresh Instagram and TikTok all lined up. So as soon as I sit down on the flight, press one button, and I'm back to uh, being a scoundrel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, look, this is my, look, this is my girl's office right here. Yeah, she talking to me like me. Why she, she talking to me like me, bro? Her office, her, her office is definitely lit, though. Look at that, yeah. Uh, she got the Samsung TV like me, you know what I'm saying? She got the fireplace. She got the multiple screens. You know, she's trying to do it like me. I respect that, though. And look, look, she got the RGB, PlayStation 5. Who is this? Who is this, yeah? You know what I'm oh, the Legos. All right, anyway. So let's exit out of that. So this is the uh, RDA. Regular daily activities. Oh, one more thing. So if you go to YouTube, right? Okay, let's see. Let's watch. Um, let's go to the library. Okay, let's see. What was I just watching? Okay, my favorite video. So if I'm watching this video, I can exit out of that. I still got the picture in picture. Okay, so I can still be doing other stuff. But if I go full screen on this one. Okay, while I'm watching this video. Let's go ahead and set this up. And let me show you. Okay, so I'm watching the video. Chilling. Bang. Switch to the next video. Let's get some volume. Okay. Let's go back to the last video. Let's 
see. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's it. There it is. There it is. All right. All right, Amaya trying to roast me. I say, um, I read the food. Bong, hit pause. Keep it moving. Exit out of that. All right, so the RDA, regular daily activities. This is a great tablet. Look, pen, drop it right on the top. You see it's charging up at 100%. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. But I would say for RDA, regular daily activities, again, if you don't want to be sitting in a bed with a big, heavy, hot laptop, the tablet is the next best thing. All right, the next best thing. <laughs> Let me say that again. The tablet is the next best thing. And a lightweight tablet this big, it's going to blow you away. All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra a major, major, major go. Is this worth 1200 bucks? The answer is yes, worth every penny. Not only is this my favorite tablet, but this is one of my favorite tech products in general. I love it. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's anything that I missed that y'all want me to answer, and I'll come through and I'll answer all questions. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat was your lap. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Picture me, bro. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.